Hey guys, it's Safiya here, and you're watching The Talko. Well, the wait is finally over. Yep, the trailer for the new Keeping Up With The Kardashians series is finally here. And unsurprisingly, it's full of drama. Yep, the new season of Keeping Up With The Kardashians is just around the corner. So we're being teased about what to expect. And from what we've seen in the new trailer, and what we've heard in the news, it's gonna be super emotional and full of drama. Not only that, it's been reported that Kylie Jenner actually stopped filming the show after news of the Jordan trip and scandal broke. Now Kylie has been incredibly quiet on the topic in general. After all, Jordan was her best friend for so long and also super close to Stormy. So could it be that she didn't want the world to see how she really feels about the situation or that she's got her friends back after all and wouldn't want to be involved in anything bad the show might reveal? Well, talking about Kylie's break from the show, an insider revealed Kylie took a little break from filming Keeping Up With The Kardashians and recently got back into filming and it's been a struggle and difficult. She was very upset about the situation with Jordan and just didn't want to deal with it and have to address it. Well, what are your thoughts on that? Keeping up with the Kardashians is at its 16th season. And it's crazy to think just how much drama is fit into each season, considering this is reality TV. It doesn't surprise us that a lot of people out there think that some of this is planned. Well, we're pretty sure that some of the biggest dramas are real, but how much more dramatic is the trailer making it seem? And are they setting us up just to be let down? Yep, even though the new season had mostly finished filming before the Jordan Woods Tristan Thompson scandal, they were sure to include Jordan in the trailer. Yep, they showed the world once again just how close Jordan was to the family, as Kris Jenner makes a toast to Kylie and Jordan. Now the thing is, showing Jordan has made many people out there think that this whole series is about that scandal, since showmakers know that everyone really just wants the dirt on Jordan. So in the trailer, they've made it seem like the reactions are about her. Now if that is the case, we're pretty sure that the hype around this will not end well. Now that's not to say that some of the cheating scandal won't be included, so stay tuned as we share all of the details. Okay, so during the trailer, we see just how emotional Chloe has been with footage of her crying multiple times. Now, if you're not familiar with the first cheating scandal, in April 2018, just days before Chloe gave birth to their baby girl, True, photos and videos surfaced of Tristan getting close with another woman. Though the new mum initially forgave the basketball player, she ultimately decided against moving to Cleveland in the fall to be with him. Yep, Chloe's situation is so extreme, and the whole trailer seems to be more like a trailer for a movie rather than a reality show. Yep, it feels like Chloe's situation could easily be a script written for a movie. So it doesn't surprise us that the show's producers decided to focus on that. But the problem is, the Jordan scandal had even more people talking, and that's what people really want to know about. Yet we've already heard Jordan's side of the scandal, where she claims Tristan kissed her, and also that they didn't sleep together. But we're yet to hear details straight from him. Now since the season actually officially wrapped after the cheating scandal, it's unclear if any will be included in the season, or if they'll just try and stretch the story out. Let's face it, it may be the Kardashians show, but the creators must be loving the drama. The more drama, the more content, and the more people want to watch. So yep, since filming wrapped so close to the Jordan scandal, we're pretty sure they can save that part and make for another successful season. But it's that kind of mentality that seems to be troubling Chloe, which is what we've seen in the latest trailer. Chloe is the main focus of the video. It opens with a voiceover where she can be heard saying, it just sucks it has to be so public. I'm not just a TV show, like, this is my life. So the question is, who's making the decisions to feature this? Yep, Keeping Up With The Kardashians used to be way lighter hearted and fun, whereas now it seems to be just extreme circumstances. Chloe can be seen yelling into a cell phone saying, my family was ruined. And in another heated scene, Chloe screams liar at her cell phone while sitting at a table. Yep, the trailer seems to show Chloe going through her hardest times. But many people out there are wondering if after such a dramatic trailer, the actual series will be a letdown. Yep, let's face it, when the last series teased the first Tristan scandal, many people out there were disappointed that the trailer was so dramatic, but the actual series didn't match that. So will this happen again? Are they showing a dramatic trailer, but the actual series won't match up? Yep, during the trailer, Chris says, here's to Jordan and Kylie, and raises a glass to cheers the two of them. 
And then Chloe's voiceover continues to say, Tristan might love me, whatever that means, but he has no respect for me whatsoever. But the trailer makes it seem like the voiceover is a reaction to Jordan. So are they making out that the series is mainly about Jordan just to get the views? Now it is super sad to see Chloe this way. She talks about her daughter saying, True is the best thing that's happened to me. And then goes on to say, Sometimes the world forgets just to be kind and that we're all going through something. Maybe just a little more understanding because it sucks. So this seems to show the world how real their situations are. Yep, they also tease troubles between Kim Kardashian and Kanye West, with Kim saying Kanye's plans to move to Chicago could be a breaking point for her. There's also a scandal with Kylie Jenner teased, as she says, I just hope that there's a light at the end of this tunnel, but I don't see it right now. Kourtney Kardashian can also be seen saying, she's only been in love with one person, right before a clip of her ex Scott Disick is shown, which which we have to admit is pretty harsh on Sofia Ricci, who he's been dating for a while now. Well, what are your thoughts on all of this? Let us know in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to the Talker, guys. We'll catch you next time.